All right, so in this problem, we want to simplify the expression as much as we can. And in order to do so, it seems like we have to FOIL our first two terms, meaning that we're going to take this x to the power of 3 and multiply it to the two values of the second in the second parentheses, meaning that we'll multiply x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3. And when we multiply two like terms with, this, with exponents, we're going to be adding their exponents. So we're going to have x to the power of 6. Now we're going to multiply x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2, meaning that when we add them, we're going to get x to the power of 5. Now we're going to do so for the same, we're, now we're going to do the same for the second term here. We're going to multiply this 2 by the two values we have in the second parentheses, meaning that we're going to get plus 2x to the third minus 2x to the second. And now let's add the rest of our terms here that we have outside of the parentheses. And now we're going to simplify like terms, add like terms together to simplify. And we're going to list our terms in the order of the highest exponent to the lowest. So let's start off with x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 4. And we're going to combine our like terms of x to the power of 3. And we're going to be left with x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2. So now this is the most simplified way we can write this expression and therefore b will be our correct answer.